Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be working on making slash commands with Discord PY. Uh, Discord PY is resuming development after six months. So basically, for now, we're going to clone from the GitHub. So we're going to clone the repository. But in the future, you can just use pip. More information will be in the description as this goes on. So if you want to read this, I'll leave this in the description as well. And the slash commands are with app commands. So this is the code on the GitHub. Now let's go to the terminal so we can go clone the repository. Okay, so to clone the GitHub repository, you want to use git clone and then the uh, Discord PY repository URL. It's going to create a new folder called Discord PY. And you want to create a file, uh, in my case, main.py inside of that folder. And now I'm going to explain the code. So we have Discord and app commands. So the app commands is for our slash commands. And then we have, we subclass our client call it client, and then we wait until the bot is ready, and then we sync our tree. So this will sync to a specific guild. If you want to make it global, you can just remove this. But in our case, we want this because if you specify a guild or guilds, then the bot will uh, push out those slash commands or update those slash commands instantaneously, while for global, you can take 1 to 24 hours. And then we create a, a command tree from app commands. This is how we create slash commands. We have tree.command and have it uh, be pushed to a specific guild. Name it test, description is testing. And we want it to be an interaction since Discord PY takes slash commands as an interaction. And then we respond with interaction response send message. I am working, I was made with Discord PY as an ephemeral message. This will send the message as an ephemeral, so only the person who triggered the slash command can see the message. Then we run the bot with our token. As usual, you really want to keep this token as safe as possible, and I'll have this token regenerated by the time you see this video. So now let's run the code. Python3main.py. Now let's go to Discord. And if I use test, it says I am working, I was made with Discord PY. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing. If you have any questions about the code, feel free to join the Discord PY server or the DigiWin server. Both are in the description. We're also going to be doing bot reviews soon, so if you want to do that, feel free to join our Discord and apply. So, thank you for watching.